Let's go. And we will sing. Oh. Christmas. Christmas is exactly one week from today because today is Saturday and today is Saturday the 18th day of December 2021. And this is your live boy today and because we are getting so close to Christmas we are telling you about the glimpses of mercy because Jesus Christ himself is mercy personified. So let's talk about glimpses of mercy. Let's take our scripture reading, therefore, from the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Matthew, in chapter 1. And we are taking the gospel right from the very beginning. So let's go. It's about the genealogy of Jesus Christ. But what we want to check out of it are the glimpses of mercy. Let's go. The book of the generation of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham, Abraham begat Isaac, and Isaac begat Jacob, and Jacob begat Judas and his brethren. And Judas begat Pharaoh and Zara of Tham, and Pharaoh begat Ezra, and Ezra begat Aram. And Aram begat Aminadab, and Aminadab begat Nasson. And Nasson begat Salmon. And Salmon begat Booz of Rechab. And Booz begat Obed of Ruth. And Obed begat Jesse. And Jesse begat David the king. And David the king begat Solomon of her that had been the wife of Urias. And Solomon begat Robwan, and Robwan begat Abia, and Abia begat Asa, and Asa begat Josaphat, and Josaphat begat Joram, and Joram begat Ozias, and Ozias begat Joatham, and Joatham begat Akers, and Akers begat Ezekiah. And Ezekiah begat Manazes, and Manazes begat Amon, and Amon begat Josias, and Josias begat Jeconias, and his brethren about the time they were carried away to Babylon. And after they were brought to Babylon, Jeconias begat Salathiel, and Salathiel begat Zorobabel. And Zerubbabel begat Abud, and Abud begat Eliakim, and Eliakim begat Azor, and Azor begat Sadok, and Sadok begat Achim, and Achim begat Eliud, and Eliud begat Eleazar, and Eleazar begat Medan, and Medan begat Jacob, and Jacob begat Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of whom was born Jesus, who is called Christ. So, all the generations from Abraham to David 
uh, 14 generations, and from David until the carrying away into Babylon, uh, 14 generations, and from carrying away into Babylon unto Christ, uh, 14 generations. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ our Lord. I told you it's all about the glimpses of mercy, although what we read is the genealogy of Jesus Christ. But if you check that genealogy very well, many of those in that genealogy were not perfect human beings. It was just by the mercies of God that they would be in the lineage of the generations before Jesus Christ himself was born. And mind you, this is the lineage through Joseph, who was his father, so to say. And if you check, there will be those glimpses of mercy through the particular people. I'd like to read straight from the Daily Fountain, the Daily Devotional Guide of the Church of Nigeria, because it captures exactly what I would like to present in this regard. So it says the genealogy of Christ is replete with glimpses of mercy. Jacob wasted many years cheating. He cheated his brother, he cheated his boss, he cheated virtually everyone that came his way. He even tried to cheat an angel. Yet, God brought him in, into that genealogy. Judah committed incest. You remember that story? But repentance firmly positioned him in the genealogy of Christ. Rahab was a harlot, found a space, becoming the mother of Boaz in spite of her ways. Glimpses of mercy coming her way that she is named among the ancestors of Jesus Christ. Now, Boaz married Ruth, a Moabite, who should ordinarily not come near the covenant because they were the ones that always troubled the children of Israel. And even when God wanted to punish Israel at a point in time, it was actually the Moabites that God used to punish the children of Israel. And now, when the Messiah will be born, one of the family of the Moabites is amongst the ancestors. So she became the mother of Obed, the father of Jesse, through whom David came. And Jesus is the son of David. And you need to understand that even for David himself, to have had Solomon and Solomon being amongst those ancestors, it was through the wife of Uriah with whom David committed an abomination. Of course, they made, uh, God made them to pay for that because that child that they first had through that unholy relationship did not survive. But after that, Solomon came, Solomon survived, glimpses of mercy in the house of David. I want to pray for you today that there will be glimpses of mercy also in your household in the mighty name of Jesus. This is Yuletide season. This is just seven days before Christmas and we are awaiting the celebration of, you know, the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ as a baby into the world who came to deliver the whole world and to show the glimpses of mercy. And I want to assure you that if you will live in the will of the Lord, if you will subject yourself to the dictates of the word of God, if you will believe, you will see the glory of God and you will enjoy glimpses of mercy in all your situations in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever you are going through today, I want to assure you that glimpses of mercy are always available for you. And that mercy, you know, I always say something. If you had 99 odds against you and just one odd in Christ. That is majority because one with God is in a majority. And there is always that space. Once that space is there, a glimpse of mercy comes through 
and then you are delivered and you are lifted above your circumstances because all you need to do is to run into that strong tower. And who is that strong tower? That is the Lord Jesus. And his name is sufficient for you as the strong tower because the scriptures say that the name of the Lord is a strong tower and those that run into it are delivered because they enjoy glimpses of mercy thereby. Are you ready for your own glimpses of mercy today? Are you ready to run into that name of Jesus? Are you ready to give your life to Jesus? Are you ready to become a Christian? If you are ready, it's simple. And glimpses of mercy will just begin to come your way. Just say this prayer after me straight away now. Say, Lord, give me the grace today to also begin to enjoy glimpses of mercy from you. But first of all, Lord Jesus, forgive me of my sinful past. Accept me as one of yours. Let me from today be called by your name, that it may be well with me from today. And evermore I pray in Jesus' name. Welcome into the kingdom if you said that prayer. And for all of us together now, let's ask for the glimpses of mercy. Let's say, Lord, help me to have that grace to be able to be an example of glimpses of mercy, that I may spread your message of mercy to the world. Do that for me today and always I pray in Jesus' name. So go out today. Let the world see the glimpses of mercy through your life and it will be well with you as you do that. God bless you. I joy you faithful I call you faithful